Ladies and gentlemen, Melba Moore and Clifton Davis. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our first show of the summer season. <laughs> and I'd just like to say, I can't really tell you how good it feels to be doing this show with my old lady. <laughs> well, I can, I can tell you it makes me feel pretty great to be doing this show with my old man. Hey, how about a good luck kiss? Sure. Now, you call that a kiss? Yeah. That ain't no kiss. A kiss is something that goes wham, pow, you know, yeah. makes your hands tremble and your legs go weak. My kiss didn't do this to you. Not that one. <laughs> well, what have you been doing, comparing my kisses to somebody else's? Oh, no, honey, I just... Well, uh... if you have, I'm gonna give you a wham pow that'll make your legs go weak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now, honey. Now, let me give you a Clifton Davis special. Oh, well, now, honey, not in front of millions of people. I am not ashamed of the way I feel about you. I have nothing to hide, so lay it on me. Oh, no, my mama told me about boys like you. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, now that is a kiss. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, didn't your hands tremble and your legs go weak? Yeah, but I might have the flu. <laughs> no, honey, I know it was you. All right. See, I fell in love with Clifton the first time I saw him in Six Gentlemen of Verona on Broadway. Uh, honey, that's two gentlemen of Verona. I know, but you see, I loved him so much I saw it three times. <laughs> well, that's love. That's got to be love, especially at $12 a ticket. <laughs> but you know, there's one thing that bothers me, honey. Oh, what is that? Well, we're the summer replacement for Carol Burnett, right? Right. What time do we come on? Wednesday night, 8 o'clock, Eastern, 7 Central. Uh, when is Flip Wilson on? Thursday night, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 Central. Right. When does Sanford and Son come on? Friday night, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 Central. Uh, you think they got some kind of curfew for us black folks? <laughs> I tell you, honey, I don't know, but I just can't wait to see what time Bill Cosby's gonna be on this fall. I'm gonna do all the things for you a man wants his girl to do.
Hello. Hi, Mugs. How you doing? All right, sugar pie. <laughs> Good. Listen, did you tell Timmy to fix the faucet in my kitchen? Complaints, complaints, complaints. That's all I hear from you people. You know, when I bought this building 30 years ago that I was the only black in the block? <laughs> now there's three of us in this building. Well, now, that's some progress, isn't it, Mom? Well, I guess the block's run now. <laughs> I'll see you children later. Yes, Mr. McCaffrey. Uh, I, I don't want to bother you, but I just got off the bus from Boston, the one in Massachusetts. <laughs> and I was wondering if there were any apartments available. Well, I think you'd better go ask the landlady, Mrs. McCaffrey. <gasps> what a coincidence. Her name is McCaffrey, too. Uh, no, no, no. Her name is Mrs. Mabley. Oh, Irish? Uh, oh. Black Irish. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she's, uh, she's close. I think she has about three apartments available. Yeah, small, smaller, and small less. Oh, well, I don't take up much room. I'm not a large-boned woman. Herman always used to say I had the thinnest ankles he ever saw. Herman? Oh, I'm sorry. You'll have to forgive me. My husband, I... I just lost him. Oh, oh, I'm s we're very sorry to hear that. Yeah, it was very sudden. We were walking down Beacon Street in the rush hour. It was very crowded. I stopped to look in a store window. I turned around and he was gone. <laughs> I haven't seen him since. Wow, you mean you, you really lost him? Uh, yeah. It's been about three years now. <laughs> I wonder if he was trying to tell me something. <laughs> oh, well, say love. Well, Herman. Uh, uh, you said Mrs. Mobley? Uh, Mabley. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, right, right, right there. there. Oh, thank you. Surely. Oh, wow, she's going to make a nice addition to the building. Oh, she sure is. Oh, say, by the way, it's time you were up on the roof. On the roof? What am I, the air raid warden or something? No, honey, that's where you do your first number. Oh, he's right. See you in a few seconds, folks. And now, here to sing one of the really big songs from Funny Girl is my girl, Melba Moore.
I don't want to get married. Oh, now that's my girl. I knew you were just doing a number on me. I don't need to get married, see, because I'm a liberated woman. That's great. I like our relationship just the way it is. Oh, right? fantastic. There's nothing wrong with marriage, but I've seen it ruin a lot of great friendships. <laughs> Especially in today's modern, sophisticated society, what's a piece of paper mean? Not a thing. Mm. If two people dig each other, they can have a mature, meaningful relationship <laughs> without a marriage contract. Honey, how come you don't want to marry me? I don't know you well enough. Oh. And nothing, nothing is going right. You're gonna try to make up with me now, right? Please close your eyes and think of me. Soon I'll be there. You think you slick? Just to brighten up, even your darkest night. Just call out my name And you know wherever I am I come running To see you again Winter, spring, summer or fall All you got to do is call Want you to keep your head together. Call my name out loud, and soon you hear me knocking at your door. Oh,
having you on the show tonight. I enjoyed that song. It was just simply... Ah, uh, stop there. That's, that's the way to explain my singing. Simply. <laughs> no, really, you have a very unique voice. So does Andy Devine. <laughs> Come on now, you're really being too modest. You're right, I am. <laughs> okay, then, what do you say we get it on and do something together? Okay. Well, uh, you know Rocksteady? No. Well, it's no Boston to game, but how about we give it a try anyway? Okay. Okay? Wait for the music? <laughs> okay, I'll show you what to do. Rocksteady, baby, that's what I feel now. Let's call this song exactly what it is. What it is, what it is, what it is. Just move your hips with a feeling to side to side. Sit yourself down in your car and take a ride. And while you're moving, rock steady. Rock steady, baby. Let's call this song exactly what it is. What it is, what it is, what it is. It's a funky and low down feeling. What it is. Move your hips from side to side. What it is. Archie, Archie, can I kiss her? <laughs> oh, it's really been such a fall having you here, Jean. Oh, I love really. being here. Oh, I like to do that so. <laughs> hey, all right. Well, oh. thank you. Thank you for having me on, you two beautiful people. Thank you, so much. And pleasure. now I got to go. Oh, wait, just before you go, I got to tell you that Melba and I will be looking in to watch you and Archie Bunker doing your thing on All in the Family this fall. I'll tell Archie you said hello. <laughs> okay. uh -oh. Bye, Jake. Well, well, I guess it's time to say good night, huh? Well, let's see. Do we have any more guests? No, none that I can think of right now. And none of our crazy neighbors seem to be around. <laughs> then I guess it is time to say goodbye until next week when our special guest will be Mr. Artie Johnson. Now, honey, you know I never can say goodbye. Oh, now that's the song we forgot to do together. Right, just like you wrote it. Never can say goodbye. No, I never can say goodbye. Even though the pain and heartache seem to follow me wherever I go. Although I try and try to hide my feelings, they always seem to show. Then you try to say you're leaving me And I always have to say no Tell me why